Hey everyone, and welcome back to Cowabunga Corner Reviews. And in this episode, it is our second one of the metallic loyal subjects Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from Hot Topic. And we still have a growling Toka in the background as the co-host. Oh, and we're also at Toka's place, so all this awesomeness behind me is... Oh, thanks. Uh-huh. It is awesome. Yeah, yeah thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Give credit where it's due. And Toka is sharing some other awesome stuff with us. Like, this is the Hastings... Go Hastings. Exclusive. Why do, why do you say go? It doesn't even say go that on was, here. It's, I thought that was... The, I don't know. It's Hastings. <laughs> I thought, it was, I thought it was, that was the website. I don't know. This is the Hastings exclusive that comes with the foot soldier. Yeah, there's no metallic foot soldier in the... Yeah, no the metallic. metallic wave. Michelle got these at a discount, deep discount. They're about, it looks like seven bucks, and she got some kind of buy one, get one free. Buy one, get one, one half off. Or something like that. So she, yeah. got, a, she got a good deal. I don't know if all Hot Topics are clearancing these out. So that was like um, maybe $10 for two, seven, That's and a good like deal. $350. Yeah. Because, like, again, it's the, the, the price point of the blind boxes. If, if you're on a budget, that's going to be really tough. And their if normal gonna, price was fifteen fifty. If you, Yeah, so you're going to be paying them over 30 bucks just for for two of them right yeah so i mean yeah that would be 31 it's gonna be a good deal and uh oh. what's good about what's cool about this one is they've got the uh the metallic april is the cartoon accurate the the classic cartoon accurate color awesome. scheme and that casey i have that casey that casey's uh a uh, little bit more cartoon accurate to the to the classic well, show. Ho hopefully we will find those in these boxes and be I... able to go over them. <laughs> I hope so. Knowing, knowing my luck, you... you, you but you're, you're we did want to at least show this inside this one. We definitely have other little odds and ends from Toka right here that will be popping up through these uh, snap reviews of the Metallic Hot Topic exclusive uh, Loyal Subject Turtles. So, now in this episode... I am opening in our box. This box was already kind of ripped open, but the plastic bag is still completely intact. <clears throat> and we don't know who's in there yet. Do you want to take a guess, or do you want to just... Just open who, it. Who, who might yeah, it be? Yeah, I need guess. I might jinx it, and you'll get another I, I'm going to think it might be Shredder. The, the Shredder from this set's all black. So, you might be... I think... Yeah, I was right. I got Shredder. Yeah, so... Yes. The the Go Hastings one is got kind of that weird dark dark red color scheme. So, like the first movie. Guess so. Yeah, Shredder yeah. has that red, a lot of red to him in the first movie, a lot of purple in the second. I guess so. And he has a uh, a bag of little weapons. He's got a throwing star and what's the name of that weapon again that he uses? Uh, what is that, a Bicento blade? I think that's what it's called. That sounds I, I right. I can't remember. I never remember my, the name of most weapons besides Josh knows all this stuff, and I should have. Yeah, I think it's a Bicento blade. Don't hold me to that, though, because I'm not perfect at that stuff. So. Me neither. And uh, so here's Shredder next to Mikey. They're about the same size. I, I hope that Shredder would be a little bit taller. And um, he's got... The ankle joints, kind of. Yeah, they're, they're there. Didn't know if I was bending it or the, the joints. Uh, wrist joints, shoulder joints, and then the hip joints and the head can spin backwards and just look all crazy. That good, high-quality, loyal subjects. Articulation. Um, articulation. I mean, they really, they really, again, they were working really well with Joe Allard. I mean, they're just some of the coolest designs as far as vinyl toys go. I think I just got a mistake in here. He came with two packages of his weapons. I like when uh, toy companies make mistakes. <laughs> I, I was like, I felt something more in there. Stuff happens. <laughs> <clears throat> so that is our shredder. I like him. I, I like the darkness around the eyes. <coughs> it, it's a nice... Bigger. I don't know if there's been too many shredders where he's got like a solid black outfit though. Mm, the Chef Boyardee Super Shredder. Yeah, 90, yeah. Ninety what? Ninety three, ninety four. Somewhere. That one is all black. 
So it doesn't happen often. It's not like in the TV shows or movies. It's never just solid black. I think but IDW has, in their recolorings of the classic Mirage books, I think they have Shredder's outfit now. It's kind of like a blackish, grayish tone. Okay. They for some reason, they don't, when uh, the, the studio that's coloring the IDW reprints from, you know, the 80s and yeah. stuff, for some reason, they, they have Shredder in that kind of this black, color scheme instead of the traditional red from that Mirage era, so... Yeah. That's changing. I don't know. Uh, they, they keep liking to change a lot of that stuff. I don't know. But I still think he looks pretty cool. I like him. Mm. So, now mm. I am down on two on the set. Yay, not a double yet. <laughs> and we will catch you next time here on Cowabunga Corner Snap Reviews. Cowabunga! Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you.